It is the nation's biggest stage in any sport, New York City. And it is here where tomorrow, Old Dominion will take on Stanford from the Pac-12 in the semifinals of the NIT Final Four. Hi, everybody. I'm Bruce Rader, live right here in Times Square in New York City. And joining me live, the coach of the Old Dominion Monarchs, Jeff Jones. Coach, there is no more excitement than in the venue of Madison Square Garden. How do you keep everybody balanced? Well, I think the focus has just been that we wanted to have a good time, but we also know that we're coming up here uh, to, to win uh, two basketball games. Um, you know, we want to bring hardware back to, uh, to the uh, Tidewater, and, uh, you know, we, we just want to give our guys, you know, again, we want them to have fun, but we also want them to understand, and, and they do, that this is, uh, this is about business, this is about winning basketball games. And you've got a tough opponent. Tell us about Stanford. Stanford's an outstanding basketball team uh, coached by Johnny Dawkins. Uh, Johnny played in, uh, at Duke and, and coached under Coach K for a number of years. And, and they have some similarities in terms of the style of play. Uh, you know, not a whole lot of uh, set offense. They've got some excellent guards in, in, in Randall and Brown. Uh, Randall has a chance to become uh, Stanford's all-time leading scorer. I think he needs 11 more points in order to do that. Uh, he, he is able to go out and, and get his own shot and create shots for, uh, for his opponents. Brown is a 6'6 wing that uh, has a lot of uh, interest from the NBA. He's, he's very, very talented. Uh, throw in a, a six foot eleven. They say two hundred forty five pounds. He looks bigger than He's that to me. Uh, uh, in, in, in the pivot, and they've just got a very well balanced basketball team. So we're going to have to do a great job uh, of, of of coming out and being aggressive. One of the things that we've struggled with this year, away from the Tet, has been getting off to that good start and being the aggressor. We've got to make sure that we can't allow the moment or the, the, the location uh, to, to overwhelm us at all. Uh, we, we've got to come out swinging and, and ready to go. Boy, that shot by Trey Freeman that won the game against Murray State sure brought your program a lot of attention. It really did. Uh, a, a lot of very positive attention, um, and I think it's been great. It's been great for our, our team this year, but I think that, that attention that we've gotten will also pay dividends down the road. I think in terms of kind of, uh, you know, just exciting the fan base, I think in, in terms of recruiting, uh, I, I think there's just a, a lot of positive has come out of not just that shot, but this, this NIT run, but that shot kind of culminated uh, with, uh, you know, a big exclamation point, we're going to New York, uh, and how it happened I, I think was really, uh, really exciting and, and obviously got a lot of people's attention. Before I let you go, real quick, how's Trey Freeman's ankle? Uh, it's, it's good. Uh, he, he describes it as tender. You know, it's not going to be 100% uh, until a couple weeks after the season when he's got time just to get off of it. We've been very, very careful uh, in, 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 in terms of how much practice he gets, but he, he'll, he'll give it a go. Old Dominion against Stanford tomorrow night, semifinals of the NIT. I'll be back tonight at 1045 on the Fox 43 Sports Wrap with much more coverage. And tonight on Wavy News 10 at 11, live at Times Square with Coach Jeff Jones. I'm Bruce Rader for the Sports Wrap.